Hello everybody, my name is John B and I live on the VCF forum. Now this is a brief demonstration of the IDE drivers which I have written for Lifeboat CPM on the Model 2, the TRS-80 Model 2, which you can see here in the screen. Now if you want to have a play with this you need to get yourself a few bits and pieces. Um, first of all you need a Hanzo 01 adapter and this is a very short card that fits into the TRS-80's card slot just here in the card cage and it allows you to connect using a 50-way IDE cable one of these cards. Now this card is the low-tech IDE adapter which was originally designed for the Model 4. Both these cards are quite cheap. Anyway, so in order to use this thing is necessary to connect them together with a 50-way ribbon cable and there's also a small power cable going into the low-tech adapter. Now we also recommend that you're using DOMS. Now DOM is a disc on module like this, sorry, and um, this is the PQA model, uh, PQI model, sorry, that we've been testing with. It's 128 megabytes which uh, as we will find out is a bit of a fib. But anyway, your module will plug straight into the into the adapter here. Now the driver and the hardware are both capable of supporting two drives. Um, you have a master and a slave drive. But if you want to if you want to implement master and slave drive access, you need an additional adapter. And this is this thing here. And all it is is a 34-way or 50-way, sorry, 40-way, <laughs> get it right. It's a 40-way IDE adapter, and there's just an ordinary, there's an ordinary uh, IDE plug here, which connects into the interface card socket, like so. And then on the cable are just two inline male IDE type sockets, and you can plug, you can plug both these DOMs in. So now this one here, I think is, um, hang on, yeah okay, so the little switch on the top of this particular model of DOM um, changes it from master to slave, and what you need is one that's a master, and another one with a switch in the other position, which configures it as the slave. And then you, you put the master into one of these sockets, I use the one furthest away, and you put the slave into the other socket like so. Now we have this this rig here we need to plug it into the card cage of the TRS-80. I'm not going to try and film this um, so I'll just pause for a second, plug it in and then I'll show you what it looks like installed.